One last thing about the Bernie Sanders stuff. So, it, I, I how did you? How I, was it I was when traveling, you and I talked more about this in yesterday's post game uh, for the members. But um, so I'm traveling with the press uh, in the beginning, and then they removed me to another van, uh, a so, special van. Yeah. So so is there smaller a, bus? Yeah. To, I, I was riding the small bus. That's right. Uh, and it's to make sure there was no bloodshed. Uh, no, no, we but. Like, you know, in the beginning I was trying to be friendly, but then, you know, when I gave the introductions, I was like, uh, okay, how many of you think that the corporate media has treated Bernie Sanders favorably? And everybody was like, or I said, do you think? And they were like, largely mm -hmm. agreed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a rousing yes! No. <laughs> it was a no, a thundering no. And all the people that are in the corporate media are right there in the bleachers covering it, and they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> But look, man, if if you if they didn't have an issue, do you think the crowd would have reacted that right. way? Right. Wouldn't they have reacted with like like puzzlement? Like, what do you mean the establishment media, mainstream media? I mean, oh, we trust the media. What do you mean have they treated yeah. Bernie Sanders fairly, right? But it was obvious from the thunderous response that they don't think that. So so the media shouldn't get the rest of the media, the establishment media, whatever you want to call them, they shouldn't get mad at me. I'm the messenger. Okay? They should look at themselves and go, why do all these people think we hose them? You yeah. know, there's a small percentage chance that's because you hose them, right? Like that's the one possibility they're not really willing to consider. No. I, I think honestly that Bernie Sanders should apologize for the, the raucous yelling as a result of your question. <laughs> and if he doesn't, I think that he's only hurting his legacy. That's right. And and then if he doesn't condemn what you did, he's there. You guys are just like Trump supporters. <laughs> Uh, by the way, though, a couple of outlets now picking up our call to uh, make sure that every other media uh, uh, organization retracts their story on violence. Yeah, right. And because the chair because it's not true. Well, it's not, NPR says it's the not world. true. Yeah. Politifact says Jake, it's not true. I'm going to ask you, John Ralston, right, who was uh -huh. introduced on Rachel Maddow's show as the dean of Las Vegas journalism, has been pushing this bullshit false narrative at his, at full throated. Yeah. Both yeah. throw it. He's not, a, and he's putting out tweets like snarky, condescending. I'm going to be on MSNBC tonight, giving my biased reporting. He went on MSNBC yeah. and fucking lied. Yeah. And he said there was violence. He said there was chair throwing. And he said and they rushed this. There was no, none. No. And he goes, and then they rushed the stage, and they rushed the stage, and and did nothing. They rushed the stage and did fucking nothing and because the they're cops liberals. There did what? Because they're nonviolent progressives. This senator is the liberals' wet dream, and they're trying to paint him as a Trump guy, and his supporters as Trump supporters. And John Ralston goes on TV. He's supposed to be the dean. I don't think dean is what they think it means. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, just last thing on this, because we really have all these other stories as well. But, but obviously, this is all about the what's happening in the news today. Uh, it, look, Ralston is respected, and I, and. He and shouldn't he has, be anymore. And he's covered Nevada for a long time. But if you read his original report it on was that. He called the Sanders supporters rabble rousers without a cause. They literally are the only people who have a fucking cause. Yeah. The people who support Hillary Clinton say, I'm with Hillary, which means they're in a cult. Sounds like a cult. I'm with her. That's all they say. People with Bernie Sanders have a fucking cause. And he said they didn't. And that was, you know, one of about half a dozen. Uh, Direct insults that he gave yeah. to the Bernie Sanders. That's people. not journalism, Jay. He's still so, doing it. Yeah. So he, he, you know, and it's funny because you know when we criticize Hillary Clinton, we get a lot of flack, but we never say like Hillary Clinton supporters are, uh, you know, uh, just what did he call them other than rabble rousers? Malcontents. Malcontents. Right? People with no social lives. Oh, people with no social <laughs> lives and all these like. And he said they had decided to disrupt that convention before they got there. He said that you right. can't do that as a journalist. You can't get in someone's and you can only report what oh, they did. Who was it? I'm, was it Joan Walsh? Someone. I, I'm not gonna say the name because I don't remember. But it was someone. Someone on MSNBC wrote an editorial, and it was about how if Bernie Sanders doesn't apologize, him and his cult of white male followers. Are going to go down in history as blah blah blah. Yeah, that I was mean, that was today. If, if we did one tenth of what they're doing now, uh, to, we we did it to Hillary Clinton supporters. Oh my God! They'd be outraged. So there they go again. Oh my the God! The Sanders supporters and all that nonsense, right? So it's endless. And then they have the temerity to say, "Well, Bernie Sanders has never been attacked." <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Nate oh, I see. tweeted that yesterday. And by the way, Michelle Goldberg then wrote an article a couple of days ago uh, saying. Now, if Bernie Sanders were to be attacked, this is how he would be attacked. 
Like, I'm not attacking him. I'm just saying that this is how the Republicans would attack him. And then she thinks, like, I got him, right? You know what they, she talked about? He was in a club in 1980 that was against the, uh, wanted to cut the entire military budget back in 1980. Yeah, he's a liberal. He was against the military yeah. budget. And 40 years ago, is it longer? <laughs> right? 36 years ago, you know, he was in a club where he didn't say those things, but other people thought maybe they should cut the whole budget. And they lifted wow. a chair. They lifted a chair. Right. And they, they were, they're, they're, he, she, Trotskyites. You got him. Oh, that's the big thing that Republicans are going to hit him with. And then he wrote something when he was really young that had a couple of sexual passages. Dude, Trump and Bill Clinton <laughs> have lived those things, let alone yeah. written them. <laughs> right? And, they th and she's like, so she's doing this smear. <laughs> against Bernie Sanders while pretending not to smear him. Uh, and what they are smearing him with is such weak sauce. And they're like, well, now you see why, even though all the polling indicates people like Bernie Sanders more, in fact, they would like him less. And Nate Silver was saying yesterday that the Bernie camp has attacked Hillary nonstop, but the Hillary camp has largely just held their ground, hasn't lashed out at him, no attacks. Yeah, that's Nothing what they say, voucher. that's what they say over and over again. But, but, but he apologized for being a pundit a couple days ago. He would never be a pundit again, except for in that tweet, which was yesterday. So. So first of all, it, there's two things. It's a gift in the sense that the mainstream news media is doing this out in the open, and it's fucking visible. I mean, it's there's no doubt about what's happening. Yeah. And so that's it's coordinated good, in a sense for us because now people will discover us more because they're even getting more sick of that stuff, right? Yeah. But in the second thing, like guys like John Ralston and Nate Silver and the, they, they're or whoever, there will be no penalty to pay because what they're doing is that they are lying on behalf of the establishment. Yeah. So there will be no price to pay for this, except I will remember it and I will talk about it forever. <laughs> yeah. And I, yeah, Hillary Clinton loves yeah, it. And yeah, you know, and I will bump into John Ralston and I will show him a chair and I will say, I'll say, do you know what this looks like when it's in the air? Because it's not in the air right now. And want me to show you what it looks like when it's in the air? <laughs> Don't do that. I'll just <laughs> ask him. I'm not going to do it. I will ask him. <laughs> okay, okay. La la last thing is, uh, I think that's the fourth time I've said that. Uh, <laughs> is that um, I did get somebody in the industry who said, you know, the thing is though, you guys are kind of proving it. That's the problem, right? So, like, you, you're because we're showing video, right? So we're saying, okay, here's what you said. Oh, Tommy Christopher laughed that off. Uh huh. Uh, that that video only proves that they held off from throwing a chair for 30 seconds. He didn't include right. any evidence that it had happened. Tommy's driving me. He crazy. wrote a whole article <laughs> just to make that point. I, I know, I know. Tom, he's driving me crazy. Like. Anyway, that's okay. That's okay. Everybody's got their opinions. Uh, anyways, no, I, I'm not just yeah, talking about the chair throwing and 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 the fact that we absolutely proved uh, that saying there was violence is incorrect because they have no evidence of violence. There's right? no one arrested. Okay, no, I know. And that then we show the cops when you see the cops and when you see and they're and they were ready. Right. They were in black gloves, brown shirts, and they were all in shape. I thought they're gonna rip off their pants and start dancing. That's how in shape those guys were. <laughs> I'm like, are those Chippendales or are those yeah, new cops? So you can't <laughs> unprove that there was never any violence in in the Nevada state of Nevada on that afternoon. But what we showed was that they have no evidence of violence, none, 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 and they can't deny it. But yet it is a talking point all throughout. But I'm not just referring to that. I'm talking about they were also like you show Anderson Cooper saying this, then you show, show him saying that. You see how he treats Republicans. You show it with video, right? And then you see, you show how he treats Bernie Sanders, and you do it again and yeah. again and again, and here it is, and here it is. And then at the end, anybody looking at that that isn't already in the mainstream media and pissed at us for actually showing their hypocrisy looks at it and goes, "Ladies and gentlemen, they got him. Yeah. It's true. It's undeniable, yeah. right? Now they'll see this and go, "Oh, outrageous! Outrageous!" Right? Like, uh, no, none of us say we're for Hillary Clinton. We hide it. Yeah. <laughs> and I love how Debbie Wasserman Shield starts off every interview. Now I just have to reiterate that I, as the chairperson of the DNC, I have to remain neutral. So she starts off with a fat <laughs> lie. Yeah. Just say, you know what she could say? She could say, we have to try to remain neutral. That's fine. Say yeah. you're trying. We all know you're not. And so that's all. But yep. she starts off every interview with that big lie. You, you know, know, in 2008, uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz was co chair, I believe, yes. uh, of Hillary Clinton's campaign for president. <laughs> And she argued at the time uh, mm -hmm. that uh, the super delegates uh, should uh, switch over to Hillary Clinton and vote for her, even though she was trailing. Hmm. Mm. But she's fair, Jimmy, because I know because she says it in the first statement. Yeah. 
She says she's fair. Yeah, but I, they also <laughs> repeatedly made the case that you should switch over to supporting Hillary Clinton because white working class Americans would never support Barack Obama. It was a crazy time. It was a crazy <laughs> time. It was a crazy time. <laughs> now, white working class Americans are no good at all, and they're the only ones supporting Bernie Sanders, and they don't count. Yeah. Uh, but, but they're not biased. But they're not biased.